a small amount of progress today. Uh, first thing I did was run a power extension cable to the outside of my shed since Blue Black 124 has been demoted to an outside car. I like to leave it on a battery tender. Uh, red is now inside the shed until at least it's drivable anyway. Since Blue Black was fully accessible, I decided to experiment with its felt inner door seals. This is probably a common problem with 124s and other cars of the era. This rubber is actually supposed to be stuck to that inner rubber uh, seal and the felt stuck on the top of the both. So I ended up using rubber trim adhesive to get the rubber to stick back to the other rubber piece. And then in the corner where it's under a bit of tension, I used the quick grip. Of course, it was all clamped uh, for the drying process and it actually turned out pretty damn well. Um, I was told by my trimmer that this wasn't possible and he advised me to just buy new ones. Well, good luck with that with uh, 124s because um, practically nothing's available anymore. That's the uh, contact adhesive I used for the uh, felt cover. And that was the finished product. It's not perfect, but it looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. I'm quite pleased with that. I do have to do all four on the red project as well. And I need to dye those because they're a bit sun faded. Now on the red car, um, this is just showing that I did not damage my condenser with the uh, engine installation yesterday. If you're very careful, it is entirely possible. So as you can see, the rear mount is actually installed now. And I've bolted up the tail shaft. But I was horrified to notice the axle shafts that I rebuilt myself have completely failed without even driving the car. They are the outer Febby brand boots that I installed. They've just completely let go. Um, possibly the clamp has just slipped off, but I did do it as tight as I could. The inner Febest brand joints, they're fine, surprisingly, since they're made in China. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I might just uh, bodge those up with some glue and use a large hose clamp. Or I might just buy Chinese shafts, if they make them in the right size.